Feel Your Heart is a cover of a song written by singer-songwriter-comedian Biff Rose and recorded by him in 1968. Rose was known for his flower power anthems, and this song is no exception. But why would Bowie cover it? And how does it fit in Hunky Dory? Let's start by analyzing Rose's lyrics and see what we can make of it. Fill your heart with love today Don't play the game of time Things that happened in the past Just happened in your mind Only in your mind Forget your mind and you'll be free This is vintage hippie ideology. Live the moment, because it is the only thing that is real. Yes, you have bad memories, but memories represent events that do not exist anymore, so you can treat them as things that actually never existed in reality, just the content of your mind. You can then dismiss them as bad dreams or figments of your imagination, liberate yourself of their pain, and become happy. Thinking about the past or the future is playing the game of time, while true and happy living is when you free yourself of this game, and live in the moment. The writing's on the wall Free, yeah And you can know it all If you choose Lovers never lose Cause they are free of thoughts Unpure And of thoughts unkind Gentleness Clears the soul, love cleans the mind, makes it free. Instead of all those bad thoughts, comes love. Love is not a content of the mind, but of the heart. And your heart should be the thing that guides you. This is a different kind of knowledge from knowledge of the mind. This is knowledge of how to be happy. And unlike knowledge you obtain with your mind, which will never lead you to the final truth. In knowledge of the heart, you can know it all. And then you can never lose. It's the old mystical idea which the hippies adopted. You should let your spirit guide you, not your mind. Your spirit has the ability to be at one with the world. And once you obtain that loving state, you need no further knowledge. Trying to figure out the world by using your mind science, philosophy, etc. only separates you from it and will never lead true happiness. Happiness is happening The dragons have been bled Loveliness is everywhere Fear is just in your head Fear is in your head Only in your head Fear is in your head So forget your head and you'll be In the second verse, we are already in the state of pure happiness. But we still have fear in our head, fear that we will eventually lose this happiness. Once again, we must release ourselves of this content of the mind, since this fear is groundless. The happiness found through love is eternal. This, then, is what Biff Rose's song says. Now let's listen to Bowie's version. Fill your heart with love today Don't play the game of time Things that happened in the past Only happened in your mind Only in your mind Oh, forget your mind And you'll be free The only lyrical change here is that one time he sings only where Rose sings just Those are interchangeable words so it doesn't change anything. All the other changes it makes here and there, further in the song, are of the same kind. So, it appears, his version has the same meaning as the original, right? Nah, it has the opposite meaning. It's all in the way he sings it. It sounds like he is trying to imitate Rose's almost childish naivete, but he also adds a little bit of theatrical affectation, 
just enough for us to realize that he is satirizing the whole thing. This is ironic singing. Writings on the wall Free air And you can know it all If you choose Just remember Lovers never lose Cause they are free of thoughts Unpure And of thoughts Unkind Gentleness clears the soul Love cleans the mind And makes it free This hippy-dippy ideology is exactly the thing that Bowie was attacking in his 1969-71 albums, and here he does it by displaying just how silly it sounds when you sing it out loud. We know he opposes everything this song says. The idea that you should forget your mind is debunked in all the madmen. The idea that you can forget about time is shown as impossible in an occasional dream. And the idea that joy can be eternal is put to rest in records like Space Oddity, Memory of a Free Festival, Savior Machine and others. Bowie's rendition of Fill Your Heart is lovely enough to show that he acknowledges the beauty of such sentiments, but he ultimately mocks it as incompatible with reality. We then go into the saxophone break, in which the saxophone, played by Bowie himself, also seems to be making fun of the original sax solo. The second verse is more of the same. Our oh, happiness is happening Dragons have been bled Gentleness is everywhere Fear is just in your head Only in your head Fear is in your head Only in your head So forget your head and you'll be free The final insult to the song comes in its placement in the album. It opens the B-side as if it is an important statement but its final saxophone chord is chopped into pieces that wake the listener up from this sweet dream and puts them right in the artificial world of Andy Warhol, the next track. From here on, each subsequent track deconstructs the hippie dream even further. 